In this lesson, I want to show you some additional options. So we've looked at inserting, we've looked at selecting, and this time we're going to look at delete. So I'm going to erase this over here and I'm going to do delete. So delete from test where, and this is where we need to specify what we want to delete. So I can maybe put something where ID equals four and usually common places we would be deleting depending on the ID because that's the unique value. And it can actually get dangerous if I'm deleting uh, multiple uh, rows so where first name equals whatever. Uh, so that can get a little bit more dangerous because we have the potential of having that value um, match a whole bunch of different IDs and rows. So you have to be really careful when we're doing delete. Uh, so now when I'm just going to copy this, but if we go to browse, we see that uh, number four is gone, but we still have five and three there. So simple and straightforward. I can do the same thing over here where I can delete from test where ID equals one. And now when I refresh it, and the reason we're getting that error is because now we're still looking for uh, this loop. So I do need to comment this out. And simply do it like that. And so this will alleviate any errors, but of course now I've already deleted it. So when I refresh it, uh, we're not actually gonna have anything happen because that ID doesn't exist, so we're not able to double delete it. So that's how you make deletes to your database content. And um, in the next lesson, we're gonna look at some more details about uh, what options we have here with SQL in general. Uh, so we looked at select, we looked at um, insert, delete. Uh, so the last one here, the last main one is update. And this is exactly as it says, allows us to update content within our, within our database. So we'll look at that in the next lesson.